Do you know it takes more than 3 lakh lakh insects to produce 1 kg of lake and Indian Institute of Natural Resin and Gum is the only research institute in the world to look after the natural resins in the previous classes we have learned the basics of lake culture in this class we will see how the lake is processed into the commercial form i am your teacher vignesh let's get into the topic tony finishes off in style a magnificent strike into the crowd india lift the world cup after 28 years when the lake is matured enough and showing this creamy orange color and crustaceans it means it is ready to be harvested harvesting of the lake is more like pruning the tree as we are going to remove the sticks of the tree so the lake cut from the host plant it is called the stick lake if the further processing of the lake takes place before the emergence of larva from the lake it is called ari lake and if they are leaving it for the emergence of larva then it is called as punky lake you can remember it like ari is a quite good boy and he stays inside the incrustation or the home and punk in english means the young teenage boy who never wants to stay inside the home so we can remember it like this most common method of processing is by the punky lake where we are going to leave the emergence of larva after which the processing of lake is taken place so when the lake is ready to be harvested it is pruned in such a way it is marketed as the form of shell lake shell lake making involves three different stages that is crush lack seed lack followed by that we get the commercial form shell lack and in some areas in between the processing stage that is the seed lack stage is also been marketed we will see the processing stages one by one this is the outlay of whole processing the lack which is freshly collected from the host plant is going to be scrapped to remove the lake that is our commercial part as soon as the removing of the lake it is going to be washed thoroughly in order to remove the dirts and unwanted dyes by which we will be getting the seed lack after getting the seed lack we are going to melt it down adding the coloring agents like yellow arsenic we are going to get the shell lack that is our final product This is how the manual method of scraping is done after collecting the fresh stick lack from the field the people will be sitting around and scraping the lack just like this This is the recent technology of scraping the lack is developed by the Indian Institute of Natural Resin and Gum Jharkhand in which the removal or scraping of lack is mechanized this device made the lack scraping easy by simply putting the stick lack inside we can separate the sticks and the lack as soon as the stick lack is collected we are going to scrap the legs off and we are going to do the milling after which it is going to be called the crushed lack which involves the removal of lack from the branches by twisting or scraping by knife or by the mechanical devices and the scrapped material is removed with all the dirt and finally the crushing so as soon as the milling is over or the crushed lake is ready the next we are going to remove the unwanted dyes and the small dirt in it this is locally done by adding the water and walking over it by the local workers by which the red dyes will be released in the below side and which will be collected and used for the dyeing of the fibers after this process seed lack is rinsed and prepared for the processing so after the removal of dirts and dye from the crushed lack it is called seed lack or the grain lack the scientific method involves keeping the crushed lack immersed in water in the cement tubes for 3 days later which the stirring and the draining of the superintendent color liquid is followed and the settlements will be transferred to the larger size vessel 
then adding the water and the lime at the rate of 1 kg per 160 kg of vat is added. The dye which is collected in the below is collected and bits of twigs and the insect parts that is floating in the vat has to be removed. This is how the red dye is removed locally and this is the washing barrel that is used to remove the red dyes which is developed by the institute. After washing the seed lac, the drying is taken and the seed lac will be looking more like this. And as I told earlier, in some part of the locals, they are also selling the seed lacs. The last part is the shellac production by the hot melting method, in which the seed lac is going to be mixed with the arsenic sulphate to give the yellow color. Then they are put in the cloth bags with the length of 9 meter and the diameter of 0.6 meter. Keeping it inside the cloth bag with this range, it is going to be heated in the open fire by rotating the bag continuously. When the leg start to melt and it start to ooze away from the cloth bag and they are going to stick in the outer surface leg ooze will be collected in the cylindrical container containing the hot water and they are going to be cooled in. Later which the sheet of lake will be formed again the heating and stretching by the hand is done. After cooling it the lake sheet then it is going to be break into the flakes. Here we can see the cloth bag in which the lake is kept and they are rotating it. In one side there is a heating source by which the lake started to come out as a ooze. Collecting the oozes there they are keeping it in the cylinder which contains the hot water. Further they are going to stretch it and polishing it by the cloths. And further it is stretched manually then kept it to cool down. So that was the process by which the shell lake is formed into the flakes which was the old method of lake processing. Now there are mechanized devices in which directly the lake sheet is being formed and they are done with higher efficiency. The next commercial product is the button lake. If instead of stretching the lake Powering the molten lake into the dyes made of zinc sheet, it will form the button lake. That means we are not going to stretch the lake into sheets. It, like in case of shellax, we are going to make the buttons out of it and sell it. Here also we can see the same procedure where we can see the cloth bags is going to be rotated in one side with the heat source with the legs inside them and they will be oozing out and the oozes will be placed in the zinc sheet instead of stretching them which will form the button leg. You can see the same process here and in the other side as the cloth bag is continuously rotated or twisted the leg will be oozing out and after which it is going to be collected and kept it for cooling down and sold it in the market as a button leg. So this is the whole idea of lag processing. The lag sticks will be collected freshly and the legs are scraped from the twigs after which the washing with the alkaline solution to remove the dyes then the filtration to remove the dirt followed by the hot melting and the final stretching to form the leg sheets or our shellac. After removal of all the commercial legs the left out processed to form the other products. They are Molima, Kiri and Pasawa. The dust like materials that is separated from the seed lac which will be containing 70% of the shell lac will be called as a Molima and after twisting and heating the cloth back fully the left out portion with the dirt is called Kiri which will be having 50% of recoverable shell lac. Pasawa is recovered from Kiri after the Kiri is taken away, the left out portion is called Pasawa, which will be having 25% of shellac. 
So by remembering the order, we can easily remember this with the simple shortcut that is Mokipa. Mo for Molima, Ki for Kiri, Pa for Pasawa. From Molima to Kiri, Kiri to Pasawa. Moki Pa. So these are all the products that we were talking about. Sea lac, the crushed product, shell lac, and the button lac, the final one that is garnet lac or the left out one. All these things are marketable products. Moving on to the uses of shell lac. As we already know that shell lac is having its own market potential. Like in painting, in electrical insulators, and in automobiles which will be uh, the main product to form the weightless products, the waterproofing inks mainly and the high quality floor polishes and the sealing wax and the other uses like the gramophone in which the material is formed out of the shellac and in the pharmaceutical industries as yes, we already talked about the ayurvedic medicines and the pill coating with the shellac. Even to form the chocolate coating also the shellac is used as it is organic and not having any side effects. As we all know that the airy silk is comparatively less value one. So in order to make them high value the lake dye is been used to form the red color airy silk. And the lake is also used in the skin cosmetics and the dye for wool and silk. Preserving the zoological and the archaeological specimen is also done by the shell lacks. These are all the lac bangles made out of the lake that is shell lac. There are particular community of people who is producing an expert in making these lac bangles. Okay, let us move towards the question part. The one day research institute in the world to do research in natural resin is located in Gujarat, Lucknow, Namkam or Mumbai. Which among this is uh, right process? Crush lake, stick lake, grind lake, shell lake or grind lake, crush lake, stick lake, shell lake or stick lake, grind lake, crush lake, shell lake or stick lake, crush lake, grind lake, shell lake. Which one is the right process? Kiri lake contains 50% shell lake, 70% shell lake, 25% shell lake or 90% shell lake. Lake is used in chocolate coating, Ayurvedic coating floor polishing waterproof ink which is right a b and c or all of the above funky lac is lac processed after emergence of larva lac processed before the emergence of larva unprocessed larva or the lac that is collected from the host find the right answer the last question is find dusty material that is settled from the seed lackeys pasawa molima kiri or funky that's all about the today's class. In the next class, we will be discussing about the common natural enemies that is affecting the lag culture. See you in the next class guys. Until then, bye bye.